wherever you are, you join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. Ibrox is a wonderfully atmospheric ground. There genuinely is a unique feeling here. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. So it's away we go then. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. And he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Good challenge, excellent challenge. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. And it's been taken straight back. Partey. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Could be thinking about a shot here. Shot at goal! And that has been clubbed away. Mares. Mares finds himself offside. And it's Aubameyang. He's gone for it! He's pulled off a fine save! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Walker. And that's been one straight back. Ruben Diaz. Tierney did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Arsenal have a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. There's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil-nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Nil-nil then, and we're back underway. The move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Tierney is charging up on the overlap. Up to meet it! Good delivery, but no joy. 
Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Mondi. And it's Sterling. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Forward it goes. Done very well to intervene. It's on a plate. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Aubameyang gets it, and now... And the finish! He scores! That could turn out to be a huge, huge goal! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. But there's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And it's Mondi. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. And that will be the final act. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Manchester City simply forgot to turn up with an attack, Peter, and that lack of cutting edge could possibly turn into something more serious for them. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.